Guatemala. Guatemala ranks 116 out of 180 on the Press Freedom Index. Alejandro Gamati, sworn in as Guatemala's new president in January of 2020, inherited an appalling press freedom situation from his predecessor, Jimmy Morales, who ran, who ran basically the duration of Trump's presidency, uh, who consistently attacks his media critics, creating a climate of tension and self-censorship by accusing them of spreading fake news and deceiving the people. At the same time, organized crime and impunity are major problems in Guatemala and make reporting extremely delicate. Exposing of political or administrative corruption and embezzlement can lead to threats and physical violence. The murders of journalists are still frequent, and Guatemala continues to be one of the Western Hemisphere's most dangerous countries for the media. A national mechanism for protection of journalists was due to be set up in 2016, but the project has kept on being postponed. Media ownership is very concentrated in Guatemala. At, and at time of recording, Guatemala has sunk further uh, into, uh, and it, it has gotten worse. It now sits in the year of our Lord 2024 at number 138. This is, well, this is almost 20, this is just over 20 points more, than, uh, like less free than it was uh, when the Ancestral Library was created. Freedom of press is guaranteed by the Constitution in Guatemala, but this right is constantly violated by, is continuing to be violated by government officials and politicians, journalists, and media outlets who investigate corruption and human rights violations who, who are, or who are critical, face harassment campaigns and criminal prosecution. They've been going through a socio-political crisis since 2016, which has resulted in an increase in attack on journalists, critical of all authorities, and a muzzling effect on the media. Journalists, again, who attack corruption are attacked. Uh, the safety of journalists has, has uh, deteriorated, and the uh, our Avalov administration is committed to developing a policy to protect journalists. But they are often, most often, victims of smear campaigns, police oppression, and verbal physical address aggression. Many have fled abroad. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hibmedia.gg slash discord. Discord link's there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hibmedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you and have a great day.